Hello, this is Peter from First Maths, and today we are looking at using an abacus with decimal numbers. We will need to use large beads, open topped abacus with at least four spikes. Each spike should take nine beads. An abacus such as this can be made using rods or pencils stuck into a base of plasticine with space for labels. A label showing a large decimal point. Abacus or place value worksheet. Today's mental learning objective. I can use decimal notation for tenths and hundredths. Mental learning task. Today's lesson is about representing decimal numbers on the abacus. Think of a decimal number. Write it in this box. Pause the video as you write down different decimal numbers. Does anyone know what an abacus looks like? Pause the video and ask people to describe it. This is what an abacus looks like. Our one has a place where we put the tens numbers, the units, the tenths, and the hundredths. So if I just put one bead here and nothing else, it would be a ten. If I put one bead here and nothing else, it would be a one. If I put a one bead here and nothing else, it would be naught point one because there is nothing there and one. If I put a one bead there, it would be naught, 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 one. It would be one hundred. If I put two beads here, it would be twenty. So it would be two, zero, zero, zero. Write a decimal number in the number box. Pause the video and write your number. Try this abacus with other numbers. Pause the video and see what other numbers you can make with this abacus. I can use decimal notation for tenths and hundredths. I know what each digit represents in a number with up to two decimal places. I can explain methods and reasoning orally and in writing. On an abacus, as digits move one place to the right, they get ten times smaller. So if they move one place to the left, they get ten times bigger. Here's our main learning task. Complete a worksheet on place values or one on the abacus. Today we're going to limit the number of beats to six. Can you think of a number which can be made from six beads? Draw an abacus with no beads on a sheet of paper. So that's four lines going up and one line going across and a dot in the middle. Explore the numbers you can make using six beads. Record in figures all the numbers you find. Challenge. Work out all the possible numbers they can make using just six beads without using an abacus. To help you, your total digits must add up to six. main learning objective. I know what each digit represents in a number with up to two decimal places. I can explain methods and reasoning orally and in writing. Here's our plenary. Which is the largest number you found? Pause the video and tell your teacher. Why is it the largest number? Pause the 
the video and tell your teacher. Which is the smallest number? Pause the video, tell your teacher. Why is it the smallest? Pause the video and tell your teacher. Which number is nearest to 30? Pause the video, tell your teacher. Which numbers use only three spikes? Pause the video and tell your teacher. Which numbers use two spikes? Which numbers use one spike? Pause the video and tell your teacher all your answers. How many different numbers are possible with just six beads. Pause the video and tell your teacher. How do you know that? Pause the video and tell your teacher. Here's the problem to solve. Choose the three digits including zero. Use these and the decimal point to find the numbers that can be made with them. Record all numbers starting with the smallest. Pause the video and do this activity. How many different ways can be made this way? Pause the video and discuss. What happens if two of the three digits are the same? Pause the video and discuss. Here's a review of a key idea. On an abacus, as digits move one place to the right, they get ten times smaller. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like below. Please subscribe to my channel and also press the notification bell to be informed every time I upload a maths resource. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye!